Welcome for another beautiful lesson and I hope that you feel the positive vibe about our session that I've prepared for you. And our today's topic I want us to concentrate on what is known as the operating cycle or the working capital cycle. Like we have a piece of information here relating to a manufacturing company and you have been given the financial statement for a given manufacturing company we get told that the average total data is outstanding we are given the raw materials consumed we have total production cost, total cost of sales we have sales for the year then the value of average stock maintained and we have three types of stock in this case we have raw materials, work in progress, finished goods a number of days in a year are given. Then the average period of credit allowed to supplier is also given. Then we are required to determine the operating cycle in days and the amount of working capital required. Now, any typical organization will normally undergo what is known as the production process. And in the meantime, they incur some current uh, expenses and these are expenses that are being charged on a daily basis now we talk about current expenses these are expenses which are normally charged on a daily basis and for that particular matter for us to get the working capital cycle i want us to recall the bookkeeping equation whereby assets are given by capital plus liability in other words, it means that capital is supposed to be assets minus liability. This particular equation, <coughs> essentially it means that we talk about the operating cycle. We are talking about the duration taken from the point at which raw materials are purchased from the supplier until the raw materials are turned into work in progress they become finished goods and eventually sold to the debtors who become the account receivables after which we are supposed to talk about the element of now payment to the creditors now remember this business will only pay its creditors after they have received an amount of money from the car from the customers so the whole of this circle is now what we're going to talk about if we derive our logic <coughs> from the bookkeeping equation we find that for us to get our working capital which are going to derive in this particular equation it's supposed to be given by the stock holding period the stock holding period stock holding period we add into it what is known as the debtors collection period that is the period taken by the farm or the business to collect money from the credit sales that were made to the customers we minus the creditors payment period so essentially creditors payment period here represents the liabilities of course the stock holding period plus the data collection period represents the assets and of course we have the working capital given by this particular equation here now if you talk about the stock holding period i want us to examine three types of stock the first one we have raw materials when they are purchased from the suppliers which will later become what is known as the work in progress work in progress refers to these materials which are still under, undergoing the production process and have not yet become the final product then later the work in progress will become what is known as the finished goods 
your finished goods are ready goods which are supposed to be consumed or sold to the debtors. And of course, again, debtors are also part of assets. So basically, our work is going to comprise these three elements. So the first thing I want us to talk about, how to get what is known as the raw materials turnover. In other words, we are talking about the amount of raw materials that were consumed or that were used or the duration taken by this particular farm to use or to convert the raw materials to work in progress. And this one is essentially given by the average, the average stock of raw materials divided by the raw materials that are consumed. You multiply by 365. That's the number of days to get how many days do we have. So essentially, we are supposed to have our work years. So we are told that, uh, from the question we are told that, the value of average stock retailed for raw materials is 32,000. So it's supposed to be 32,000 divided by the raw materials consumed. The raw material consumption was 40,000. So it's supposed to be divided by 440,000 times 365 days. And our answer is going to be 27 days. This is the first set of stock. Then we go to work in progress. So we talk about work in progress, turnover. You want to see how long was did work in progress take to be converted to the finished goods. And again, we talk about the average stock our stock in work in progress and the cost in card when converting the work in progress is normally the cost of production because they are being produced into the finished goods times 365 so we are supposed to have the average stock of work in progress which is 35,000 Divide by the cost of production, which is given as a million shillings. Million shillings times 365, we get a value of to do it 13 days. So we have 13 days that was taken to convert the work in progress into finished goods <coughs> and then finally we talk about the finished goods turnover how long did they take in the production another finished do we still talk about the average stock of finished goods because finished goods are being sold we are going to divide by the cost of sales. So this only refer to the cost of sales times 365. We have the average stock of finished goods which is 26,000 divided by cost of sales which is what, 10, 50 million. Essentially it's supposed to be a value to do with It's supposed to be 10, 50 million. It's supposed to be 10, 50. We get a value times 365. We get a value of 9 days. So this is supposed to be 9 days. So we are done with the stock only period. 
So I want us now to go to the debtors collection period. So we talk about the debtors collection period. The debtors collection period. You have to see how long does this company take to collect money from its credit customers. I talk about the average debtors. The average debtors we divide by the credit sales times three sixty five. And of course our average debtors outstanding is forty eight thousand. Supposed to be forty eight thousand divided by credit sales, which are given as sixteen. Uh, one point six billion sixteen times three sixty five we get a value of eleven days and then finally we are supposed to talk about the creditors creditors collection period. We don't really need to work out this one because already it is given. You get told that the average period of credit to suppliers is 16 days. So essentially this one is 16 days, which is supposed to be the average, it's supposed to be the average creditors. The average creditors divided by the credit purchases times 365 times 365 of course 16 is supposed to be average credit as what we are looking for which we are going to use in our next equation divided by credit purchases which is supposed to be no we are talking about the credit purchases of raw materials and not any other stock of goods here by 360, 360, you know, 332,000 times 365. So it means that for us to get the average creditors, it's supposed to be 16 times 32 divided by 365. And we have a value of 1402.7 Now, I will just now talk about what is known as the working capital cycle. And back from the equation, we are going to talk about the stock holding. We are going to talk about the, the raw materials turnover plus the finished goods, plus the working progress, plus the data's collection, minus the creditors collection period. So it's supposed to be, so for us to get our working progress, uh, I mean, the, for us to get our working capital cycle, it's supposed to be the raw materials turnover so the raw materials turnover, which is 27 days, as the way we arrived at it, we add into each the work in progress turnover, which is 13 days. Again, we add into it what is known as the finished goods, finished goods turnover, which is nine days, then less, we less, what is known as, <coughs> after that we are supposed to add, before we less, we add the debtors, 
collection period which is an amount of 11 days after that we are supposed to less the creditors collection period which was given as 16 days from the equation you have 16 days when we work out this one you're supposed to have what is known as the value equal to 44 days this one is the operating cycle in other words the working capital cycle so it means it will take 44 days between the time the raw materials are acquired from the supplier until payment to creditors is made now the second part of the equation requires us to determine the working capital <coughs> the working capital required <coughs> and we know that from our bookkeeping equation it's supposed to have a working capital equal to the current asset minus current liability <coughs> the value of our current assets essentially we are going to talk about for raw materials we had 32 so for raw materials we had 32,000 then we have for the value for work in progress which is another part of the assets is given as 35 then you have finished goods which is given as 26 thousand then finally we have the debtors outstanding is 48 thousand we are now done with the current assets this is for the debtors when we are supposed to less the current liability which we found out to be 1402. So we are supposed to less creditors, which is an amount of 1402.7. When we less this one, we get a value of 139.597. Five ninety seven point three. This is the amount of working capital required for this particular business to operate until the forty four days elapses. Kindly, if you feel that this video is helpful, please subscribe and share and drop a comment. Bye bye.